I've got a feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh yeah. Hey everybody, Ben here from Fail the Music. Um, this is another video in my series of going through my album collection by album title instead of uh, by genre or artist or, or whatever. So we've made it to the F's and uh, this is actually the last of the F's and no I don't have any helpers this time like I did last time I know. Um, and I actually missed a week just too much stuff going on with grandkids and work and everything else but anyway who's counting right so we're just going to get right into the end of the f's and so first up is the debut album by foreigner um yeah <laughs> do i have to say anything much more about this album no nope. feels like the first time cold as ice star rider a head knocker the damage is done Long, long way from home, woman, oh woman, at war with the world, fool for you anyway, and I need you. Uh, at one time, I bet we probably heard every one of those songs on FM radio or, or somewhere, right? Um, there's a picture of the band, very, uh, very young guys, yeah. And, of course, the backside is just uh, lyrics. So, first off was Foreigner. This is John Conley, classic country artist. Um, this is his album Forever. This is the second studio album. Um, and it has the, the hit off of here was Before My Time, right up here. Um, and it was, it, they, it got all the way up to number two on the hot country songs on Billboard. So. Yep, Forever by John Conley. This is this is a, a rare one. Um, couldn't tell it though by prices, you know. It's, you can still get it pretty cheap, I think. But anyway, this is Stronghold with their album Fortress Rock. It's the only um, album um, by this band. They were a just a, a Christian hard rock, art rock band um, from New York. So, uh, um, I don't know, in the vein, I'm trying to think of some somebody who they might sound like that you might know. If you're familiar with Daniel Band, um, the Christian artist, um, or Barnabas that I showed quite a bit on here, they were actually, they're actually on the same label as, uh, as Barnabas. But yeah, keyboards and uh, um, guitars, you know, just just your standard um, art rock hard rock so yep stronghold up next is the second album by um, Star Castle this is their fountains of light album it's the only Star Castle album that I have there's the band on the back um, it, you kind of, if you if you want to know what they sound like, you know, it's kind of like, um, there's a picture of them on the inside, lyrics. Um, they were often criticized because musically they sounded um, a lot like Yes. So, you know, so when you get, when you have to try and run in the same circles as Yes and stuff, yeah. Um, so they never did gain very much uh, success but uh, very it's a decent album so Star Castle Fountains of Light next we're gonna go to Canada mm -hmm. Bachman Turner Overdrive another one of my favorite bands I know I have a lot of them but you know um, there they are in the back and uh, Some more pictures there on the inside, but at um, four wheel drive, just our cruncher. Um, of course, it had the hit on here, Hey You. Um, Lowland Fling is one of my, my favorite, as well as Don't Let the Blues Get You Down. But uh, yeah, sadly, we just uh, lost 
Rob Bachman not too long ago. Um, there's the inner, there's the band in action in there. Um, of course, Randy Bachman and uh, Randy Bachman, um, C.F. Turner, Rob Bachman, and uh, I can't remember his name. Blair Thornton on bass. Yep. Anyway, Bachman, Turner, I guess he's overdrive. I don't know. Anyway, four-wheel drive. So here, uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody has this one. I ain't going to belabor this one too long. No. Frampton Comes Alive, one of the greatest. Yeah, I think it's probably still the greatest um, selling high, most, the greatest selling live album of all time. Um, of course, you know, it has the, the massive hit, Do You Feel uh, Like We Do, you know, with the talk box and, and all that. So, yep. So Frampton Comes Alive by Peter Frampton. This is uh, Free at Last by Free. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, of course, you know my whole story behind how I got into Free and everything. And uh, um, Paul Rogers, who I think is one still to this day, one of the best rock vocals, uh, vocalist and how him and um, Simon Kirk, the drummer, went on to form uh, Bad Company, of course. And uh, but uh, yeah, just solid blues rock, early blues rock um, from Free. Now, the Motor City Madman. Mm -hmm. How about a little bit of free-for-all from, uh, from Ted Nugent? Um, another one of my favorite Ted Nugent albums, if not my favorite. Um, yeah, it's got to be pretty close. Um, Doggy Dog, free-for-all, hand together, hammer down. Writing on the wall, light my way, street rats. I love you, so I told you a lie and turn it up. Uh, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, and I can't, and I can't remember if uh, um, I ever told you the story. One of the times when I was listening to this, and it was like, and it wasn't Ted singing, and uh, I was like, man, that voice sounds so familiar. So I got, I got the digging and stuff, and. There's some songs on here that Meatloaf, yes, that Meatloaf, actually sings on here. So there's the inside, not much, no lyrics. So Freedom at Point Zero. Yeah. Jefferson Starship. Probably my favorite, well, not probably, it is my favorite Starship album. Um, the very first Starship album I ever bought, actually, was this one. Um, had the big hit on it, Jane, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, just good, hard-driving rock from Jefferson Starship. So, back to Canada. And back to Bachman Turner Overdrive again. Yep. This is their album, Freeways. Um, there's the back picture of the band. Uh, this is kind of when, in my opinion, they kind of started sliding um, down a little bit. Um, of course, you know, the first, the first, you know, five albums here in my opinion classics um and this one just got i don't know it's, it's hard to explain they kind of i want to say they mellowed out there's lyrics back there but uh i don't know i can't explain what happened but um there's a couple good tracks on here um shotgun riders good and uh um, my wheels won't turn it's good but yeah freeways bye 
Buckman Turner Overdrive. Jay Giles Band and Freeze Frame, another um, massive hit, put, put these guys on the map. Um, of course, previously it was Love, Love, uh, Love Stinks, but uh, this one um, put them over the top, especially with MTV and stuff. Uh, freeze Frame and then uh, Centerfold. Yeah, I don't need to say much more. How about that? There's a picture of the guys on the back, lyrics, all that stuff. Freeze Frame, J. Giles Band. Another one of my favorite albums, Ace Fraley with Fraley's Comet, um, debut album. Uh, yeah, uh, Rock Soldiers. To me, I mean, to this day, I, I love that song. Um, but anyway, you know, y'all, y'all know this, I'm sure. Um, Anyway, not much in on the inner, but Fraley's comment, of course, from Kiss, X Kiss, all that. So here is the fourth official release from Elton John, and it was the soundtrack to Friends. Um, and uh, the title track had a little bit of minor success, you know, but the rest of the album was pretty much a. Um, a disappointment in comparison, you know, from Elton John's stuff. But, yeah, some of them are, you know, he sings on some of them, and some of them are just orchestrations from the movie. So, anyway, Elton John, friends. Ah, up next. This is a fun one. Yeah. Oh, who do we have here? Yep, from the inside, Mr. Alice Cooper, with all the opening doors and everything still intact. Not, not by much. And mind you, this is pretty cover has seen its better days, but um, it's just pretty it's pretty cool. Um, of course, if you open it up, um, you, see, you open up these doors, you see um, all the people that uh, he sung about. This is when he was in um, a mental institution and uh, if you go back here he has a song on here called the quiet room you open it up oh look who's back there yeah Alice yeah, but, oh wait a minute that's not all and so you turn it over on the back side and you open up these doors yeah maybe easy for you to say and oops see told you bad shape and look He's released. They're all released. They're all going home. They're going crazy. Pretty much. Anyway, one of my favorite, all-time favorite Alice Cooper albums um, from the inside. And it had the big, uh, um, the big hit, How You Gonna See Me Now, the ballads, you know. So, uh, only two more to go. How you like that? Yeah, we're just buzzing right along. Um, Frontiers by Journey, still in shrink, all that fun stuff that they talk a lot about nowadays for, for whatever reason, but yeah. Um, once again, another <laughs> powerhouse album, Separate Ways, Send Her My Love, Chain Reaction, After the Fall, Big Hit, Faithfully, Edge of the Blade, Troubled Child, Back Talk, Frontiers, and Rubicon. Um... There's the band right there, lyrics on that side, and of course, I'm sure you've all heard about uh, all the issues going on with um, with Journey and people in the band, out of the band, in the band, out of the band, all that fun stuff. Last but not least for my Fs is uh, A French Kiss by Bob Welch. Of course, Bob Welch started out in... Uh, Fleetwood Mac, of course. Um, this has the hit Sentimental Lady and Ebony Eyes. Um, I, I really liked Ebony, Ebony, yeah, Ebony Eyes. First day with my uh, 
new mouth, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty good album. So, anyway, that wraps up the Fs. We will um, get into the Gs on the next video. So, uh, hope everybody likes this. Um, if you like what you see, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, we will just see you all next time. And remember, music is not to hear, but music is to feel. This has been... Talk to you later. Bye.